Okay, so it's been a while since I made a video, but I am at a call for, it said not enough hot water, but it's completely no hot water now. And I'll show you what I'm dealing with and what I've diagnosed so far. So I got to the tank, which is right here, and it's a Wal McLean tank on a Wal McLean Ultra. Pretty crazy setup. They have a steam boiler for their heat everywhere else in the house, but they have a Wal McLean Ultra for some radiant heat and for their indirect storage tank. But I noticed I had nothing here on my display. I checked for power, I had no power, and I followed my wire, which comes up. This is my power wire, goes over the light, bends right there, comes down, meets with all this, comes all the way down, and comes to this 24 volt input. And checked there for power, and I had no 24 volts. So then I checked for voltage coming into the relay. And as soon as I did that, the relay clicked. And if you look closely, you could see some burning right in the center of the screen, some charring. And what happened was when I pushed it, I'm turning the light off to see if you could see the spark, it made a connection. Yeah, you could kind of see, yep. So we got a bad uh, relay here. Hopefully that's it. Um, hopefully there's no power to the neutral, but I'll double check that and see if I have a six zone relay, which I should. Okay, so here is the relay and it's the new one. <clears throat> Pretty much everything is in the same spot, except for end switch right here on um, the old relay it's right here and our 24 volt power supply on the old relay is here new one it's here but i disconnected all my thermostats labeled them this was zone three zone two uh this is for the uh water heater got my power disconnected these are both going to tt xx and I labeled these as well, one and two, three, four, five, and six, as well as marks on the wire, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll get this off the wall and get the new one mounted in place. Okay, and since I have power coming in from the top and the bottom for this relay, it comes from that one and also goes to this one, I had to drill a hole so that they would line up on the relay. And it's perfectly lined up with this one. I measured it. So that'll look nice and neat. And now I can snake those wires through. And hopefully the screw holes line up. I don't think they will. I'll probably have to shift it a little bit. Because it's just not the same dimensions as the other ones. Okay, so I got it on and I screwed it in. This is not perfect, but there's not much I can do. See, they kind of have to go against the wall like that, but soon these will end up needing to be replaced too, and then they'll match, but I'm going to start hooking up all the wiring, and hopefully I have enough wire to do everything that I need to do wherever I need to do it. I left all these connected just for, it was easy, it's easier to do it that way, just in case to be safe, but everything should go together fairly smoothly now. Okay, I got everything wired up as I tried to do it fairly neatly. Um, now all that's left to do is apply power. So here's our switch back here. It says heat. Kicked on. Oh, hit my head. Kicked on. And our display is now reading temperature. So boiler is going to start up. Supply sensor, return sensor, and outdoor sensor. Every sensor is hooked up. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to do a maintenance on a different day for this system. But give it some time, and it should be calling for domestic 
Uh, yep, domestic hot water. So, tank should start to heat up. Relay is good. Put the cover on and I'll throw a pipe doctor sticker on it. Okay, so we've got the Testo app to do a combustion analysis. I put the slip on there for it and the sticker. Same for the boiler. And the silencer wasn't even connected to the blower. So, get that on there. This doesn't want to clip on, so. It's all there now. And I'll do a combustion analysis right here. Leave my print out there. Get this off of the trap. Okay, so I finished up with that. I'm glad it was easy enough. Uh, customer is very, very, very happy with the service. Uh, they watch the YouTube videos. Turn so. left onto Peninsula Boulevard. On my way now to an estimate, but that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did, like the video, comment any advice or criticisms or feedback, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.